change looks like this ugly volatility where you get moves, dramatic moves to the upside and downside. You puke things up dramatically like we are seeing today. Um, some of it, I think it's it's the market's really trying to reprice and re reset growth rates for next year. Hmm. And where they're coming in, we just wrote a piece out this afternoon and said, look, today is really a confluence of three events. It's concerns about trade. It's what happened with Brexit and heightened concerns about a hard landing after what happened in the UK Parliament today. And it's the yield curve, right? It's the belly of the curve inverting. We don't think that the, that is a material issue, but at 11 basis points on two to tens, it doesn't leave much margin of error. And what the bond market is telling investors is, and telling the Fed is to stop. Stop raising rates here because you basically have tabletop flatness. And if we're going to go two or three more times, um, you've got to be able to do that and maintain a positive steepness or slope of 10, 15, 20 basis points at least. So is the market then, you know, that flatness, is this equity market basically worried, in other words, about a Fed mistake, a, a rate hikes that would not be justified by economic conditions? Um, I think it's worried about the Fed going too far. December is a go, right? I don't think there's anything that basically takes us off the path of a December rate hike. But if you look at Fed funds futures now, we're pricing in one hike for 2019. Hmm. We've gone from an environment where everybody was convinced that it was going to be at least three next year, maybe four for calendar year 2019, back to one. Mm. Um, you now have, and to Sarah's good point, not was there just um, the downside uh, a program selling on equities, but you had program buying on, on treasuries as well. Yeah. So that whole trade flipped this right. afternoon. So is this? This is really important, what's going to be going on with interest rates to understand, uh, and it has a big deal with the stock market. The reason why the stock market is acting the way it's acting is due to the fact that they're worried about the interest rates going up, and there's so many companies that are loaded with debt. And for the most part, uh, if the Fed decides, they already just said that they're going to reduce the amount of rate hikes. So that should have been good enough news, but it seems like the market needs more. And I would totally watch to see if the Fed cuts interest rates. If they re-lower interest rates, time to get back on the bandwagon and uh, we'll see what happens with the stock market. But um, I would definitely reconsider making a move on real estate to cut interest rates. Um, but only time will tell. So let me know what you guys think about this, and I will talk to you soon.